Hey guys, I'm Pachi. Welcome to my channel. Yes, I have a new setup. I've been trying to move stuff around. I put some albums here. I put some over there. And for those asking, I don't just hold this up and talk into it. I actually have like a microphone attached. Can you guys see it? Yeah, but I use it like a microphone, so it's like funner to talk. Anyways, let's get started with this video. Today, we're going to be talking about TWICE's recent activities and what song the Misamo subunit is releasing. TWICE will be participating in the LDF premiere. The information says that they're going to be performing four songs and they're going to be playing live with their fans and they're going to be able to interact with ONCES. TWICE really outdid themselves. They were the second female artist in 2022 for Billboard to sell the most physical CD albums. The the first artist was Taylor Swift and the third artist behind TWICE was Beyonce. TWICE was 6th place overall in all of the lists for Billboard's top CD physical albums. But I feel like they could have gotten way higher if JYP would restock their albums. Come on JYP, who had the idea of limiting the physical albums? I know JYP announced that he's trying to be more environment friendly these days. But oh well, that's all on them. Before we continue into the Misamo subunit topic, I want to ask you to politely like comment and subscribe or else you will not be able to see twice in their fifth world tour misamo finally announced that they're releasing a song this is going to be an original soundtrack for the japanese drama biason children heart clinic the name of the song is going to be bouquet and it's going to be releasing january 20th it's weird how it's going to be releasing on the same day as the twice comeback moonlight sunrise sana had this to say about the song it left a first impression about the fact that it's a soft song the background music is very important that it matches the mood and storyline of the drama. We, Momosana and Mina, enjoyed ourselves while recording the song. Billboard Japan posted about it, Model Press, Oricon News, and even Warner Music Japan. My theory is that JYP is dipping their toes into the Misa Mo subunit with the soundtrack before the whole comeback. The song is supposedly a powerful song, but at the same time, it's a beautiful melody. This is the beginning of Misa Mo. Yes, they've been announced in the Japanese audience, but do you think they're gonna have a Korean comeback? Do you think their comeback as a group is going to be a Japanese comeback? Should they just stick to their roots with Japanese? Or should JYP put them out there into the Korean public? This is a big deal for sure because we've been waiting for Misa Mo since 2022. Let me know what you think about this, guys. What do you think about my background? Those are a few albums. What do you think about the Misa Mo subunit? Let me know everything down in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching.